They are too, Alan. So Niles West students are involved in a couple of ways. First, there are seniors applying to the universities William Rick Singer targeted. And then second, there are also student journalists discovering they have another alumni making headlines. He pleaded guilty and now William Rick Singer is known as the mastermind behind a college scandal that helped powerful and wealthy families buy their children's way into college. At Niles West, Singer is known as another famous alumni, class of 1978, and an oddity for current students. It was just a really weird feeling that's really hard to be described because it's not like happy or sad, it's just sort of like, what are the odds? I just thought it was kind of odd and ironic that he went to Niles West and like this was all happening at the same time. What's happening is Singer pleaded guilty earlier this week to running the college scam. Prosecutors say 33 parents collectively paid $25 million to Singer. The bottom line for the U.S. attorney, every student admitted through fraud bumped off an honest student. Knowing that my chances may not be as fair as I thought they were is very surprising and somewhat upsetting. Lexi Lee applied to 16 schools, including the University of Southern California, which was deeply involved in the scandal. She's waiting to see if she's accepted to her top pick. And Violet Gilbert has applied to 10 schools. All of the students at our school are being very fair in their college, college application process. Yet the news about Singer brings the application process to the forefront and their school as well. I don't really think he represents our school. I think the more the other notable alumni who did positive things instead of things like this should be representative of our, of our school. Overall, a lesson for everyone. You should definitely just continue to work hard and kind of do your best in getting ahead or getting into colleges and not try to uh, go through like corrupt things. So before the Singer case even happened, Lexi Lee wrote an editorial for the school newspaper. It was called, Why Aren't We Enough Anymore? She said she was disillusioned with the college admissions process, how perfectly competent students or classmates are not being accepted in schools that they had actually hoped for. So both Lexi and Violet said, you've heard about how wealth can help, but this is the first time that they've actually seen a criminal case, and now an alumni is linked to it. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.